Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to show or hide full details when deleting a file. Let me show you what we're talking about here. If you click on a file and hit delete, you should get a prompt. Are you sure you want to delete it? If you don't, let's right click on the recycle bin and hit properties. And we want to make sure that you display the delete confirmation dialog. Otherwise, this won't do you any good. So let me restore that. So we have files to play with. All right, so here's what you're going to see. Now when you click delete, because as you can see, here's the difference. This is what you see now. And when we're done, you're going to see this. Pretty cool. So check the video tutorial. I'll pop it up right about here, right about now. And click download, show or hide full details. Click download now. And when you have the files, which I have here somewhere, right here. Let's just extract them. Oh, where to go? There it goes. Extract all. Extract. There we go. All you got to do is show full details when deleting a file. Click Run. Click Yes. Yes. And a final OK. Now I believe I believe we have to reboot. Let me check. Nope, we do not. So now what you see file name, type, folder path, size, when it was created, when it was modified, and the attributes, for example, owner and computer. So that's kind of neat if you delete files a lot and you want to make sure you're going to delete the correct file before you go. It's almost something that I think should be right built into Windows. At least you have the details. So it, it's a big help, at least in my opinion. Now, the next thing you're going to want to know is you don't need to use our registry files, but as you can see, it's awful easy. So you can open the registry editor, copy this path, Windows key plus R and hit regedit. And this is why I created the registry files for this because it's a lot more work. All right, come on, get in there. So you're at the all file system objects. You're going to need to have to right click on that and do a new string value called file operation prompt, which should be here now because we use the registry file right there. So you'll create that with a right click new string here and you'll have file operation prompt. Now, you gotta copy this long thing here. Copy. Stretches the page right out there, don't it? <laughs> oh well. All right, back to here. And you would right click on that and click modify. And as you can see, there it is pasted right in there. So once again, the registry files on this one, I prefer them because it's such a quick double click as opposed to right click new blah 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 you get the point so there you go what happened to my page man boy that really screwed it up that big long link but there you have it so once again just look up at the top for the video tutorial if you'd like to do it yourself in the registries I just showed you or grab the registry files as well from right here there you have it bottom right corner over here if all works out right a little major geeks logo pops up if you click it It'll give you the option to subscribe to Major Geeks if we helped you out. But I like this one a lot. I hope you do too. So we appreciate you watching as always. See ya.